Thank you for watching this video on how to use the Hutchison tool in Die Tapping Calculator. My name is Tom Hutchison and I will be your host today. This is the second of two videos on how to use the Tapping Calculator. Today's video will be about how to use the calculator for our standard in Die Tapping units only. These are used for applications where you have less than an eighth of an inch of strip lift or three millimeters of strip lift. So to start with, when we go to the tapping calculator, the first three applications or the first three sections here are more for internal uh, things for our internal use when we're helping determine um, different engineering standards for the different applications. So when we start with line six, this is where really the information uh, that would be pertinent to you will start. So. Uh, when we start in line six, uh, this is all tap sizes. Today's application is going to be an M4 by 0.7. But you can see with the drop down list, we have a variety of tap sizes, both uh, inch and metric. So you just pick your tap size and, and put it uh, into that section there. Uh, the next uh, line is gear ratio. We're going to come back to this. Uh, this gear ratio uh, will be determined as we go along further in the discussion. And so we'll come back to this line later. Uh, the, the line 8 is for press stroke in inches. So um, we have both of you notice line 8 and 9. We have an inch measurement and a millimeter measurement. And the reason we have that is uh, because we have applications where we're using uh, metric or inch. And so the calculator is set up to do either all inch measurements or all metric measurements. So uh, we have fields to do both. So in today's application, uh, because we're using a metric tap of an M4 by 0.7, the 4-inch press stroke, we're just going to convert to um, 101.6 millimeters, which is the same thing as a 4-inch press stroke. Uh, in order to do that, we have a little section down here. If you notice, if we uh, put in 4 inches, it automatically calculates 101.6 millimeters. If I was to put in 5 inches, for example, you can see it would recalculate to 127 millimeters. So. Uh, again, for our application today, it's just 4 inches, so uh, we went ahead and put 101.6 millimeters into line 9. Lines 10 and 11, uh, we are not going to use today. So that this was covered in our first video in this series for the follow-along units, so uh, we're not going to use those two uh, lines today. Uh, we're going to focus on lines 12 and 13. So uh, again, because this is used for applications where we'll have less than an eighth of an inch or less than three millimeters of strip lift, uh, today's application, we're just going to have an application here in line 13, which is uh, 1.25 millimeters of strip lift. So again, uh, going back to our calculator down here, 1.25 millimeters equals uh, 49 thousandths. So you can see in line 12, we put uh, 49 thousandths for the strip lift. Uh, as we continue on, line uh, 14 and 15 are just a, a single spindle unit that we're going to be talking about today. Uh, um, lines 15 and 16 are, again, are more engineering sort of standard things that we will uh, use internally. So um, these are fields that you won't have to fill in if you're using the, the calculator. Uh, lines 17 and 18, again, uh, we have inch and millimeter measurements. Um, again, like we discussed previously, depending on uh, whether we're using inch or uh, metric measurements, we just have uh, fields for both. So um, today's application, line 18, is 2.5 millimeters of total height that we're tapping. Uh, so again, if we come back to the tapping calculator, 2.5 millimeters, uh, that converts to 98 thousandths. So uh, in line 17, we put uh, 98 thousandths in there as well. Uh, lines 19 and 20, uh, well, we will be where we're putting the pitch of the tap in. So in this case, again, it's a M4 by 0.7. So line 20, the metric pitch is, of course, 0 0.7. Uh, to determine what that is in inch, again, we come over to our, our calculator, put 0 0.7 in, and you can see it's 36.286 threads per inch. All right, so as we, after we put all that information in and we hit Enter, as we scroll further down here, there's a couple things that uh, the calculator will do. Uh, the first section right here is showing how much press stroke will be required for each of the different gear ratios that we have available in the tapping unit. So you can see in line 30, our, our slowest ratio is a 0.81 to 1 ratio. And all the way up to line 69, which is our fastest ratio, 
which is 4.91 uh, to 1. So basically what these ratios mean is for every inch of press stroke, you would get 0.81 revolutions of the tap with this gear ratio, and with the fastest gear ratio, we'd get 4.91 revolutions of the tap for every one inch of press stroke. So, so in this case, uh, what we're trying to determine here is we know we have a four inch press stroke, so which gear ratio we would use is really dependent on we're trying to always use the lowest gear ratio possible uh, because that helps maximize speed as far as strokes per minute. Uh, but in this case also, we're going to be considering how much uh, press stroke we'll be needing for tapping because uh, this also is a factor with the standard units of generally stripper travel. So when we're tapping with the standard units, how they work is once the strip is fed into progression, the stripper will come and hold the part down, the tap will enter, tap will tap, tap comes back on out. The part still needs to be held down long enough for the tap to get up out of the way before the strip lifts to advance, and then the stripper can release and the strip can move on. So in this case, if we went all the way down to the 4.91 to 1 ratio, you can see we're using 2.109 inches of the press stroke for tapping. So again, in this case, uh, it's generally going to be stripper travel that's used to hold the, 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 the strip down uh, during that tapping process. So if we have a 4-inch press stroke and we're using 2.109 inches of press stroke for tapping, that will still give us plenty of time to feed. Uh, almost 1.9 inches of the press stroke for feeding. So, so that should give you enough time for tapping and then still have enough time for feeding. So as we continue on, um, let's say we're going to stay with that 4.91 to 1 ratio. Uh, we want to determine what that ratio will give us as far as strokes per minutes are concerned. So uh, if you see on this chart over here with the M4 by 0.7 tap, you can see we're recommending 2800 RPM and this would be the case for mild steel. So if you look up here in this note up here, uh, all the RPMs in this chart are based on a mild steel. But if we were tapping, let's say, a high strength low alloy, we'd want to use two thirds of this RPM for tapping speeds. Uh, if we were using stainless steel, we'd be using one third of these speeds. So uh, for our application today, we're just going to consider using uh, standard mild steel. So uh, the 2800 RPM that we've put into the red box here um, will calculate us for us now when we go all the way down to the 4.91 to 1 ratio that this application in a 4 inch press stroke will run at 71 strokes a minute. If you felt that you wanted to run faster than 71 strokes a minute you could go back over for example and look at a lower ratio so let's just say the 4 to 1 ratio in line 64 which would be using 2.589 inches of press stroke. So it would increase the amount of stripper travel that you would require, but on the other hand, it also would give us more strokes per minute. So there's a little bit of a trade-off between um, what kind of speeds you want to achieve and how much stripper travel you'd be using in this application. So for our purposes, we're just going to stay with a 4.91 today, but, uh, but again, you, you can see you have choices that you can use. So if we come all the way back up to the 4.91 ratio in line 7, that's what we, uh, we determined here. When we put that information in, if you come over to the right side of the calculator here, it does a couple of things for us. So it shows, um, again, how much um, press stroke you'll be using for, for tapping uh, of 2.109 inches, or the equivalent is 53.58 millimeters. And then also it'll show that, again, 71 strokes a minute with 2800 RPM. Uh, it also gives us some information here about tap sensor settings as well. So when the tap, if you're going to use a tap sensor in our application, our tap sensors sit underneath the strip when this tap comes through the part. And uh, it's a physical proc sensor, so in order to activate the sensor, the tap has to physically touch the sensor, it's spring-loaded, it'll send a signal to your press controls that the tap has gone through. And what this just shows is that the tap sensor should be um, about a hundred thousandths, a hundred eight thousandths from the bottom of the strip to make sure that the tap gets through and actually touches the sensor. All right, so basically uh, that covers the complete um, tapping calculator. and. Uh, um, play around with it, and I think if you put in some different numbers, I think you'll get a better feel of uh, how it functions and everything. 
If you have more questions, certainly contact me directly. Uh, my email is tom at hutchisontool.com, and we look forward to hearing from you and helping you in the future.